Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'll be showing you Windows 10 build 16273, which Microsoft has released for Windows Insiders on the fast ring and to those who opted in to skip ahead. As we're approaching the release of the Fall Creators update, Windows Insiders on the fast ring are moved off of the RS pre-release branch to Redstone 3 release. Skip ahead was an option provided to Windows Insiders who wanted to skip Redstone 3 release and continue on to the RS pre-release branch to Redstone 4. At this point, however, Windows Insiders will most likely just see bug fixes. We are now at the point of the development cycle of the Windows 10 Fall Creators update, where our focus is now on stabilization for the release to the world. Our engineering teams remain focused on getting the Windows 10 Fall Creators update ready for release. This remains our priority. Now that we're at this point, Skip Ahead is now full and closed. After the release of the Fall Creators update, everyone on the fast room will be lumped back together onto RS pre-release for Redstone 4. The beloved My People feature is tidying up in preparation for the big update this fall, as Microsoft is asking Windows Insiders to dabble around with emoji. When a contact in your taskbar sends you an emoji in Skype, it'll pop out on the taskbar big, bold, and animated as you would expect from a Skype emoji. Anyone who has used Microsoft Word knows what a font is. Exploring the fonts included with Windows, you may have noticed some fonts have several listings under different names such as Sago UI Lite, Sago UI Regular, or Sago UI Black. These fonts are part of what's known as a family, a group of a typeface adjusted to several different weights or styles. Normally, you might find that a font family is spread out across multiple files, and have a small handful of different weights to choose from. Bond shrift is the first open type variable font to be included with Windows. The variable font technology behind Bond shrift allows a family of typefaces to be condensed into a single font, whose weight can be adjusted dynamically and precisely. Imagine being able to simply drag a slider to choose the weight of a font. This technology opens new doors to designers and developers, whose creative expression and adaptive UI will benefit the most. The Windows UI could certainly benefit from more consistency. Unfortunately, though, the Fall Creators update will get just the opposite of that. The excuse is that Fluent Design is coming out in waves. However, that doesn't help the fact that it's being used in such an inconsistent manner across Windows. It's like a partial remodel to a different architectural era. A jungle of different styles. It's not just unsightly. It can be confusing. Nevertheless, countless bugs are being dealt with, so we know it's going somewhere. This has been a quick build update video with me, Cody, on Microsoft. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and to check out our website for more info. Thank you, goodbye.